Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for June 13th. We've got a little bit of rain today. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Um, today's devotion is titled, It's Empty Now. And the Bible reading is from Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 1, verses 1, 12, and 13, and 16 to 20. And of course, I'm going to have to look these up a fancy way because the way that they provide me only gives me verse 1. So I'm going to pause and look up the verses and we'll go from there. Okay, got it. So Lamentations chapter 1, verse 1, 12 and 13 and 16 to 20. Oh, oh, oh. How empty the city, once teeming with people. A widow, this city, once in the front rank of nations, once queen of the ball, she's now a drudge in the kitchen. On to 12. And you pass her by, look at me. Have you ever seen anything like this? Ever seen pain like my pain? Seen what he did to me? What God did to me in his rage? He struck me with lightning, skewered me from head to foot. Then he set traps all around so I could hardly move. He left me with nothing, left me sick and sick of living. For all this I weep. Weep buckets of tears, and not a soul within miles around cares for my soul. My children are wasted. My enemy got his way. Zion reached out for help, but no one helped. God ordered Jacob's enemies to surround him, and now no one wants anything to do with Jerusalem. God, ha God has right on his side. I'm the one who did wrong. Listen, everybody, look at what I'm going through. My fair young women, my fine young men, all herded into exile. I called to my friends. They betrayed me. My priests and my leaders only looked after themselves, trying but failing to save their own skins. Oh God, look at the trouble I'm in, my stomach in knots, my heart wrecked by a life of rebellion. Massacres in the streets, starvation in the houses. My brothers and our families spent the day moving our parents' belongings from our childhood home. Late in the afternoon, we went back for one last pickup and knowing this would be our final time in our family home, posed for a picture on the back porch. I was fighting tears when my mom turned to me and said, It's all empty now. That pushed me over the edge. The house that holds 54 years of memories is empty now. I try not to think of it. The ache in my heart resonates with Jeremiah's first words of lamentations. How deserted lies the city, once so full of people. An important difference is that Jerusalem was empty because of her many sins. God exiled his people to Babylon because they rebelled against him and refused to repent. My parents weren't moving because of sin, at least not directly. But ever since Adam's sin in the Garden of Eden, each person's health has declined over their lifetime. As we age, it's not unusual for us to downsize into homes that are easier to maintain. I'm thankful for the memories that made our modest home special. Pain is the price of love. I know the next goodbye won't be to my parents' home, but to my parents themselves. And I cry. I cry out to Jesus to come, put an end to goodbyes, and restore all things. My hope is in him. 
What place holds fond memories for you? Thank God for the people who loved you there. How might you make new memories today? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.